What if I told you there's a better way to create black and white photos than using the monochrome module? It's called the color calibration module and the manual refers to that because it has black and white presets. And these aren't ordinary black and white presets, these are film emulation presets. So if we click black and white Fuji across 100, this is the effect. It looks kind of old school, very vintage. Then we've got the Ilford Delta 100, it's a little bit more dark. And then we've got the Ilford FP4 Plus, and then we've got the HP5 Plus. And then we've got the luminance based black and white. And these are all the black and white presets in the color calibration module. Now, if you don't like that, just reset this module. You'll get all your colors back. Go back to the gray tab and then change these values. And what this does is it's mixing the channels together to produce a gray scale output, also known as a monochrome image. And moving these sliders around will control how much each channel contributes to the brightness of the output. Now there's a matrix multiplication which I'll show up here in the screen. And we're using a landscape photo right now. Now just know that when you're dealing with skin tones, the relative weights of the three channels over here will affect the level of detail in the image. So if we place more weight on the reds than we do on the greens and on the blues, that will make for a smooth skin tone. Whereas emphasizing the green rather than the blues or the reds will bring out more detail. In both cases, using the B channel is reduced to avoid emphasizing unwanted skin tones. 